Hey everybody, Chris here from Protocase with another Proto Tech Tip. And today, we're going to shine the light on Protocase Designer and show you how the new graphics library works and how it can save you time. Protocase Designer allows you to quickly and easily design custom enclosures and parts and get them instantly quoted and ordered. Since everything is template based, you can create the design you need and know it's going to be something that we can manufacture for you in as fast as two to three days. So a huge part of what makes Protocase Designer such a time saver is that you can quickly place common cutouts, fasteners, hardware, and graphics using the Protocase Designer library. And the latest release of Protocase Designer has a new category in the library called graphics. The graphics library gives you the ability to place common graphic symbols in seconds instead of having to find that SVG file of the symbol that you need and import it into the software yourself. So now I'm going to give you a quick demo of the graphics library inside Protocase Designer, and then at the end I'm going to show you the final product. Alright, so I've got my panel here already started in the material dimensions and color that I need. And this panel already has cutouts for a fan, a power switch, and plus two Amphenol cutouts for jack inputs. So now I'm going to add in a few graphic symbols in the graphics library. So now I'm going to click on Edit Face, and then choose the face of the panel where I want to place the graphics. Now I'm going to click on Library in the Navigation menu and then choose Open Library. So here you can see all the tabs for the library such as Cutouts, Graphics, Hardware, Fasteners, and Personal. The Graphics Library is organized by category. You have Electronic Symbols, Flags, Marks, Warning and Caution Symbols, and Other. So click on the button beside the category name to expand the list and see all the graphic symbols that are available. I'm going to choose the Power 1 symbol and click Place This Item. Now I can place the symbol wherever I'd like on the face and then customize it more. This graphic symbol is treated the same way as any other object, so you can customize its origin and rotation or even resize it. So any graphic in the graphic library can be changed to any color, as long as the symbol in that library is only one color in nature. There are a few symbols in the library such as the electrostatic sensitivity, laser, pacemaker, and two-person lift symbols that contain more than one color. For these symbols, you cannot change the color, and flag graphics would also fall under this category too, as their colors cannot be changed. So now I'm going to add a few more symbols to correspond with my cutouts, and then change up their color. So along with my power symbol, I'm also going to add a USB symbol for the USB cutout, and I'm going to change this from default black to red. And for my two Amphenol cutouts, the two jack inputs, I'm going to add some text and change this text color to orange. And change the J2 to blue. All right, so once I'm done adding my symbols, I'm just going to click the green check mark to save my changes. So now you can see the graphics that I've placed now on my panel in the 3D viewer. And if I hit order inside the software, the panel is going to go through our manufacturing facility. And much like a traditional cooking show, here's the final product. And as you can see on the panel, I have the symbols for power, USB, J1, and J2. So to sum up, the graphics library in Protocase Designer aims to make your designing easy and as quick as possible. Placing common graphics and customizing them should only really take a couple seconds. You've got a lot of things to tackle in order to get your projects and prototypes completed on time, so the last thing you need is to waste valuable time either struggling to make these enclosures from scratch or relying on a mechanical engineer to create what you need. So by using Protocase Designer, you're going to be able to design what you need quickly and easily, and then focus on the stuff that really matters for your project. So stay tuned for more Proto Tech Tips on Protocase Designer and how it's going to save you a whole bunch of time. So thanks for watching this week's Proto Tech Tip video. And if you haven't already, download Protocase Designer and just see for yourself how much time you can save on your next workflow. And if you have any questions or comments, either leave them below or email us at info at Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next week.